Hey artists, welcome. It's Paul here. Recently I've been experimenting with different sketching techniques, uh, different mediums, because I'm not really happy with the glossy effect of graphite pencil and I've discovered charcoal. Peter Paul Rubens, classic Flemish painter. Look at his charcoal drawings. So expressive, so rich and, the, and dark. You can get a lot more tones than you can with graphite without that shiny look. John Vanderpaul, Famous uh, book, The Human Figure, Anatomy and Figure Drawing. Look at the uh, rich, um, expressive drawings that he does here in charcoal, 1920s artist. Moving on to Howard Pyle, a great um, illustrator and art instructor to N.C. Wyeth. Check out his Indian here with the mountain lion crouching in the background. Really deep, rich blacks here. Um, and you can use smudge and dry brush techniques as well. N.C. Wyeth, again, student of Howard Pyle, illustrator extraordinaire, again, another Native American theme. Look at the reflection in the water in this study. This could be, this is a um, masterpiece on its own, but it's a study for an oil painting. But again, such great art here with the charcoal. Andrew Loomis, whose books on figure drawing 1940s illustrator, look at his women done in charcoal here. Absolutely beyond equal, in my opinion. And here is a study in charcoal. Look at her hair, how dark those blacks are. You're not going to get that with graphite. And it's going to have that shiny, kind of cheap look if you try to go that dark. You can only get that rich expressive, expressiveness through charcoal. Man, is that nice. Also, landscapes. Here's a guy, Bruce North, uh, New York educator, um, now lives in Florida, I believe. Look at the nice dry brush effects he's getting here on this landscape drawing. I'm just doing a Google search here on landscape charcoal drawings. You can do the same thing, but there's so much uh, nuance and different techniques you can use with charcoal. It is way better in my opinion than pencil. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and thanks for watching.